Hey guys, it's Alea Tara Motwani and I'm going to be answering some questions for Hangama Artists Allowed. So I hope you enjoy. The song that definitely inspired me the most while growing up would be um, Dil Hai Chota Asta. It's an Indian classical slash Bollywood song and it was the first challenging song I got to sing as a child. I think at the age of like 5 or 6. So it actually really taught me about um, the methods of singing and the true technique that goes behind Indian classical music and it's always been my go-to song till today. So I think that song really inspired me to work harder which is why it was definitely the most inspiring song for me while growing up. Um, so currently I'm studying um, the IB program which I'm sure most of you know is really really hard and um, academically focused so I'm not gonna lie it's really hard to balance both at the same time but I do definitely when something more specific comes up in either my music world or my academic world I do need to prioritize a few things over the other to kind of balance it out but I'd say I'm not a pro at obviously multitasking because that's kind of impossible especially when you have so many things going on but I do tend to prioritize things that they are more important but I make sure that no work gets left behind so I think I'm doing pretty good at it. Like I said because I'm in such an academically focused school and curriculum I when I'm not doing anything related to music I study and I do a lot of stuff on social media like Instagram reels and of course filming for my YouTube video but um I think studying would be more of it. I don't really spend that much time like on Netflix and stuff. I just don't think any IB student has that much time actually. And the fact that I have like a double kind of like life with that, it's very stressful. So So my favorite memory of 2020, so um I went to boarding school from like 2019 to 2020 and I was supposed to stay on. But um, because of the pandemic, I had to come back. So my favorite memory of 2020 would probably be a time in my boarding school where I was like hanging out with my friends because those were so fun. Like all those nights, like, you can't even choose the best night from that. But just every single night hanging out with my friends in my dorm. And then coming back was really, really challenging for me. So I think my favorite memory would be kind of making new friends um, and finally settling back into this place that I now have to call home again after adjusting so much. So I think that comfort feeling that I was able to get in both places would definitely be my favorite memory of 2020. A crazy experience about my trip to the Maldives. So I actually vlogged this in front of my YouTube channel. My brother and my dad went swimming in the sea without telling us and they swam to like the other side of the island and we couldn't see them anywhere and we basically had, had the view of the entire sea but we didn't realize that they were on the other side. So my mom was really scared. I honestly could not care less because I was like, they're not stupid. They know what they're doing. They're 100% going to find their way back. But my mom was super stressed out. So um, that was really funny for me. She did not find it that funny and they were really stressed too because they knew that they were like on the other side my mom would kill them but you know I, I thought it was hilarious. Okay so everyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with Maggie like genuinely unhealthily that's not a word obsessed with Maggie but um something that my parents were like okay you eat this I eat it once a day so my parents were like, okay, this is way too unhealthy for you. You need to like eat something healthy. So my dad used to eat like fried egg with Maggie and I used to find that the most ridiculous thing in the world. But I tried it and I know it sounds like disgusting even talking about it, but like crispy, crispy fried egg with Maggie and like really spicy sauce, not ketchup. Don't eat Maggie with ketchup ever. But like crispy fried egg with like really, really spicy so sauce and Maggie. So, so good. If you're into like weird food combinations, I 100% recommend that. My biggest fear, I'm like trypophobic. I don't even want to pronounce, I don't want to check if I pronounce it right um, because I know that they'll show me pictures of what it is. It's basically a phobia of like little holes and it's pretty common. Um, my dad has it, my brother has it, so I think it's genetic for me, but I know that it's a pretty common phobia. So it's, it's disgusting actually. It's genuinely gross and it freaks me out and I don't even want to Google if I pronounce it right because I will cry. So if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry, but trypophobia, something like that. My 
my favorite thing I owned was this um is this Alea Tara necklace. It was gifted to me and it's from Tara Fine Jewels and I haven't taken it off for about five to six months. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it defines me. I literally just sit like this the whole day if I'm not like doing anything. I'll just like subconscious unconsciously be doing this. And i I'm just obsessed with it. I never take it off. I think it's so pretty. It's stunning. So it's definitely my favorite thing I own. My first um music song release was um two songs called Don't and Back to when I actually had the opportunity of releasing them with artists allowed in Hangama so I'm super grateful to that because they let me release my own music and I'm hopefully gonna be releasing many more with them or just in life but they gave me my first opportunity and I'm super grateful for that. Um, upcoming projects so I'm currently working on like an EP album kind of thing and because I got um, COVID and then I got long COVID <laughs> I haven't been singing for like one and a half months which is also killing me but I would be done with about two tracks for my album because I started working on it just before I got COVID but um, it's kind of taken a bad track but that is something that I hope people enjoy because I'm really working hard on it. I actually don't sing while showering and I know this sounds weird because like everyone sings while showering but I take my music so seriously that I would get so triggered if I sang something wrong if I wasn't focusing that I don't sing in the shower but right now a song that I've been singing is like Runaway, Cloud9, Cupid's Chokehold basically like fun stupid songs that you can like dance around to not stupid in that way stupid like you can be like cute and probably that but I don't really like sing it I kind of just like listen to that music I have a different playlist every month so this is my current playlist a theme song for each member of my family I have no idea for my brother would be count on me because he's always there for me my dad would probably be like the song wind beneath my wings because I remember him dedicating that to me as a kid and uh, my mom is, my mom and we have a really good relationship so like any like stupid crazy like whacked out teenage song I'd dedicate to her because I feel like she'd vibe with it too. <laughs> a drink okay if I was a drink I'd be hot water actually because I don't drink anything except hot water I don't even drink cold water normal water I don't drink Sprite I don't drink coke I don't drink Fanta I don't drink anything because I'm so like scared about taking care of my voice so I would be hot water because that is the best thing for your voice I actually recently have been snoozing my alarms a lot in the morning so I have like a friend call me up and <laughs> I basically get a wake up call and then I immediately go and brush my teeth because I have like an issue I literally will not speak to anyone until I brush my teeth it's like it stresses me out to brush my teeth like six times a day so I'll get a wake up call because my alarms like I just keep snoozing then I'll go brush my teeth and then I'll stay in bed for like 20 minutes and then eventually go on with getting ready for the day. I would trade my life with Ariana Grande just because she's Ariana Grande. Who wouldn't trade their life with Ariana Grande? I would trade my life with Ariana Grande. I would really want to live her life and kind of like see the process that she takes while songwriting and singing and recording. Also like she's amazing, she's an icon. I would definitely live her life. If I was invisible, I'd break out into school break into school that's wrong English I would break into school and not because I want to look at anything like I don't have any agenda but just because I feel like in movies the kids are always breaking into schools and I feel like if I did that in my school I would it would not be okay at all I don't even think I'd be able to do it so if I was invisible I'd do it just to say that I broke into school not that I want to break into school at all but like I feel like it would be cool to like say I broke into school yeah yeah The song that reminds me of relationships would be If the World Was Ending um, and the reason for that is because the lyrics kind of explain that like if everything was coming to an end would you kind of forget all our bad memories and just be together for us and I feel like that's a good like test that you should ask yourself because th that's kind of a way of knowing if you're actually over someone would you kind of put everything aside and still go back to them um, no right 
so hopefully no. So I think that's definitely a song that kind of reminds me of past relationships. If I was on a tropical island, I would need Rajma Chawal. I know I love Maggi, but Rajma Chawal is very nutritious, so I would have Rajma Chawal. I like water, I guess. But like what? Okay, Rajma, Rajma Chawal and water comes in one thing, and then I'll probably have like my phone, right? That's really sad that I only have those things that I need. Like I guess like a toothbrush, I don't know. My phone and Rajma Chawal. Yeah, I need those two things. Okay, so like I said, I went to boarding school and my friend Ryan, I don't know how, but I have a picture of him in my wallet, like a passport size old photograph of him in my wallet and I have no idea why, I don't know when he put it in, why I have it, but I still haven't removed it and I find it hilarious and it's just in my wallet, so that would definitely be the most interesting thing I have in there. I feel like this is just gonna be me being narcissistic, but um, I don't know, my hair... My nails, like right now they're short, but I usually have really long nails. Um, probably like my fashion sense. Um, what else? Like, okay, like non physically, like people say I talk really well, like I have like my thoughts aligned and I speak well, but I guess you guys can now be the judge of that. And um, yeah, I, I'm pretty loyal, like if I'll really stand up for my friends, like I don't really care what anyone thinks of me. Oh, yeah, I'm super confident, I don't care what anyone thinks of me at all, like at all. <laughs> scrambled eggs and I cook them so well like so well taboo it's like that game that where you like say a bunch of words but you can't say the word that you're meant to say and then people guess the word that game or six and hours just because it's six and hours definitely that my voice is unique um I remember a professional singer said that to my mom that she thinks my voice is very unique and I think that's the best thing that's that's the best compliment you could ever get and a couple more people have said it but it really struck out me and she said it because she has come from she's come from a place with so much experience and being unique is something really special because right now um, people may think music is the same to like a tone deaf ear but um, being unique kind of means something especially because it's like your voice is your own so that kind of compliments you as a person. Okay, a song for you by Christina Aguilera. I love that song so much. I've sung it like two years ago and it's an eight minute song actually, but I kind of shortened it down because of the whole piano thing, like, you know, whatever. But um, that, a song for you by Christina Aguilera. I love that song. My daddy is actually an Indian classical singer and she's had so many accomplishments and she's actually the one who taught me how to sing, so I'm super inspired by her. Also, Ariana Grande, like I said, Ella Fitzgerald, Ella Fitzgerald genuinely really inspires me, so definitely her. Um, a lot of things I do actually irritate my mom. She's actually made me record this video like three times because um, she said my outfits weren't okay. And also, uh, so my me not choosing good outfits to shoot in irritates her. Me leaving a lot of like she asks me something and then I like leave out a whole lot of details and then she'll ask me the same thing like a week later and I'll tell her all the details and she'll require like, to tell me this before and I just I just forget. Also like when she's talking and I'm on my phone that annoys her. Also like um like she thinks I don't tell her things which is not true because I literally tell my mom every single thing. Like I cannot go to sleep if I haven't told her something that's happened in my day. So I don't know why she thinks that I don't tell her things because I do but that really annoys her. But um Okay, that's all we have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed me answering some fun questions with Adil Sahar Hangama. Thanks for watching. Bye.